I think she did it. I think the son of a bitch did it. I think that Kim Kardashian found her purpose in life. She has found her lifelong mission that she was put on this earth to do. And that is to get her hands on the rarest, the most expensive pieces from fashion history that nobody else has accessibility to and completely destroy it in the process. Yeah, that sounds about right. She has done this a concerning amount of times. You have to look at it and go, is she doing it on purpose at this point? Because let's go all the way back to a Vanity Fair event in 2020 when Kim Kardashian wore one of two Alexander McQueen oyster dresses in existence. For the event, the reality star and businesswoman hunted down one of the most significant designs in recent times, an Alexander McQueen oyster dress. That was created for the Designer's Spring Slash Summer 2003 collection. Her dress is one of only two ever produced. The other one is sitting in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It was described as arguably the most important dress of the 21st century. Is that not genuinely crazy? Kim Kardashian owns one of two dresses created of this one dress. And the other one is sitting in a goddamn museum, one of the most prestigious museums in the world. That's how important this dress is. And Kim just owns the other one. But this is where Kim's streak begins of her just completely destroying a very important pieces of fashion in history. Because at the beginning of the year, a Twitter user named Sarah McGonagall tweeted this. Finding out that Kim Kardashian not only destroyed Marilyn Monroe's gown, the most important dress of the 20th century, but also permanently altered one of the only two oyster gowns that McQueen ever made, the most important dress of the 21st century, is my villain origin story. Did you hear that? The dress didn't fit Kim, and so she had to have the dress altered in order to make it fit. And somebody in the replies of this tweet said this. Um, why does it matter? Well, let me put it this way. Can you imagine if I just one day decided on a whim that I wanted to buy the Mona Lisa and hang it in my room? Only to find out the space that I want to put it on my wall in my room is too small. So instead of just Finding another painting that I can have in replacement of the Mona Lisa, I decide to just take the biggest chainsaw that I can find and completely saw it in half to make it fit on my wall. That is why it matters. Because you can't just go get another Alexander McQueen oyster dress. You can't just get another Mona Lisa. But she permanently destroyed Marilyn Monroe's happy birthday Mr. President dress. The organization initially denied Kardashian permission to wear the dress to the Met Gala because it didn't fit her. After she lost about 16 pounds, Ripley's conceded and said great care was taken to preserve this piece of history. If you have to lose 16 pounds to fit into a dress, and then once you put the dress on and it still damages, maybe, I'm thinking maybe, that dress isn't for you. As the literal designer of this dress says, it was designed for her, Marilyn. Nobody else should be in that dress. And no more needs to be said after that. Like, am I gonna try and squeeze into a piece that was custom made for Kate Moss? No, I'm not. But here's the damage at the back of the dress after Kim had taken it off. And you can clearly see that the zipper is holding on for dear life. The clips are struggling. And it doesn't matter about Kim's weight. It doesn't matter how slim that she got for this dress. It wasn't made for her. So it was never going to fit the way it fit Marilyn. And this one is a little more difficult to see because the lining is a little bit bad. But when you zoom in on, oh my God, she ripped the dress. She teared it. You will never be able to find that exact material again. That is destroyed forever. 
And you'd think that after destroying a very, very important piece of history worn by one of the most iconic people to have ever lived, you wouldn't go repeat the exact same mistake. But no, Kim's reign of terror literally continued the exact same night. Because here's Kim Kardashian in the exact same dress that Marilyn wore when she won a Golden Globe Award. Who keeps giving? Marilyn's belongings to Kim who keeps who keeps letting her wear these dresses that Marilyn wore and why is Kim so obsessed with wearing these dresses that Marilyn wore because in the exact same Instagram post she says this in the caption further into my research I found out that the owner of the Golden Globe that she received that evening was none other than my friend Jeff Lethem. I saw this all as a sign the way that all of the stars aligned and I feel like this one comment that was left under Kim's post says everything. Why are you treating a dead woman like a costume? It's borderline obsession, that's what it is. But Kim won't just ruin dresses that weren't made for her, cause she'll also ruin dresses that were made for her. Here is the dress that Kim wore to this year's Met Gala that was made of over 50 thousand freshwater sea pearls. And what do you know? The pearls literally started falling apart. The strings that were holding the pearls together started rolling across New York City. And she clearly had no care in the world. This was not an urgent matter to her. Because she joked around in an interview because she joked around in an interview and said, Oh, I just had North running around New York all night picking them up for me. <laughs> no big deal. Failing this. Some popped on the way and I told my daughter to grab them all. They're real pearls and she was putting them all in her purse. Are they real pearls? They are. All right. Well, then I <laughs> so if you haven't caught on already, that's two Met Galas in a row where Kim has destroyed the dress that she's worn to the event. She needs to be stopped. We need to stop stop her from going to the Met Gala because she's just going to keep destroying more and more dresses the more and more we invite her to these events. And I think the people who organize the Met Gala themselves have quite literally began to understand this. Because the theme of this year's Met Gala is quite literally a dig at Kim. Because the theme of 2024's Met Gala is Sleeping Beauty Reawakening Fashion. And here's what a Twitter user had to say about it. Before people get it twisted, the 2024 Met Gala theme Sleeping Beauty's Reawakening Fashion is not about fairy tales, but rather memory, the sensory experience of fashion, and pieces that are so delicate they can't be worn again. And... Who is literally notoriously known for wearing pieces so delicate that they can never be worn again because they've been destroyed? It's so ironic how this year's Met Gala theme is about fragile historic garments, but Kim Kardashian wore and destroyed the Marilyn Monroe dress to the Met two years ago. Like, the call is coming from inside the house! But it's not even just dresses. Like, Kim will just buy these historical pieces just because she wants to. She's bored, I guess, because Kim purchased and now owns a necklace that was made and worn by Princess Diana herself. What are you getting out of that, Kim? Why do you need that? But it wasn't just Princess Diana's necklace, because she literally bought a jacket worn by Michael Jackson just for funsies. We need to do something about this. I'm sorry, but Kim needs to be banned by the government. There needs to be a law against Kim that says that she can't buy any more historical archived pieces anymore. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in...